Whether it's a lager or an ale, whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale. If you can brew it, Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur, but regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure. You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer nut. So whether it's a porter or an IPA, whether it's from Europe or the USA, if you can brew it, Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Going back to American beers right away. And to my favorite brewery, my favorite New York brewery, Southern Tier. This is their their famous, uh, actually, Imperial Gemini, a blended unfiltered ale. Um, it's actually a blend of their now discontinued Imperial Hop, which is like an Imperial Pale Ale, and also their uh, unearthly Imperial IPA, which is a borderline barley wine. Long description, lots of details. They lowered the alcohol this year to 9%, it's usually like 105 or something. Yeah, so as you can see, pours a uh, orange color like I, most IPAs do, especially Imperials. Uh, you know, kind of looks like ruination or whatever. It's you know opaque. You know, now that I can you know see it close up, it's a, uh, it's not, it's actually not opaque. It is translucent, but uh, you know, very very hazy. It, it did pour a pretty nice head at first, but it's kind of fizzled away. Not completely surprising considering it's so big, but. You know, I compared it to a ruination the look. I mean, it smells like ruination. It's a uh, massive citrus on this one. Almost kind of like Pliny. Um, that really juicy tropical fruit notes, the citrus notes. Mmm, grapefruit. Lots of orange on this one. Kind of like that orange sherbet. Like, the, like that sweet kind of orange uh, scent. Plus, definite pine in there, too. So it's, you know, sticking to the East Coast tradition. So, uh, let's see how the uh, Sun Tier Gemini for 2012 tastes. Cheers. Mmm. Wow, that's... That's a good beer. Um, very, very strong bitterness on this one. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I'd estimate it's at least three figures as far as the IBUs. Kind of reminds me of like a heady topper. Or some of those bigger, you know, like Ruination, I'm sure, is over 100 IBUs. Uh, certain beers like that. Just, it's just a, a, a thud of bitterness across the tongue. It's just like all in once, one, you know, one hit. It's not like a, a prickly sensation or anything. Tons of, like I said, citrus, tropical fruit, uh, nice kind of sweet balance in there. Um, but it's a, uh, you know, it's it's not too ridiculous in either either uh, malts or hops. It is a thick mouthfeel. I gotta say that it's definitely. I think their website they say it's only a medium body beer. I call it a definitely full body beer. Just from beginning to end, you're getting a lot of flavor on here. It just has a lot of weight in the mouth. Um, Probably from, from all that bitterness, from all the uh, the tropical fruitiness in there, um, you know, it's it's sweet, kind of like uh, uh, Avery Maharaja, but not to that extent. I thought that beer was a little, that was very sweet. This is, you know, kind of like in the in the East Coast sweet style, the really resininess of like a six point resin, a Dogfish ninety minute, something like that. I think like this beer. This could be like the personification of like the the East Coast Imperial IPA. I, I actually like this better than the Unearthly. Yeah, really nice, nice and tasty. Um, as you can see, it's a bomber, so we're gonna take a break, and I'll come back with my final thoughts on the Gemini. All right, let's wrap up this review. I'm gonna give a a nine out of ten for the Southern Tier Gemini. Can't quite give it a ten. I mean, it's a it's a great great beer. Lots of flavor. I really like it. Um, as far as drinkability, it's you know it's pretty drinkable considering what it is. Um, it's funny because like it's nine percent. Like I said, it used to be ten, ten and a half, maybe even eleven. I think at one point. Um, but even at nine, it definitely has like the the thicker, stickier body of like a big ass beer. 
Um, it does go down very smooth, I might add. Like, there's no carbonation stuck in the throat or anything. You can just slug this right down. But because it's so bitter and, you know, just so flavorful, you don't really want to just slug it right down. Um, you know, and it's only released, as far as I know, just like once a year. So it's definitely worth picking up once a year when it's fresh and just to, to, to drink it to get out of the way. It does kind of remind me of like Six Point Resin plus kind of the the sweetness of of a Ruination or maybe even an Avery Maharaja or something like that. Very well balanced, I think. A lot of I like the juicy notes they got in there from the you know the the more pale ale side, but the you know the hops from the unearthly side are definitely making themselves known. Um, yeah, it's it's a really impressive beer, really tasty fun to drink, kind of expensive, but you know, if it only comes out once a year, and yeah, I would definitely pick up a bottle every year when it came out. So, yeah, uh, 9 out of 10 for the Southern Tier Gemini. It's an excellent beer. Really like it. One of the best East Coast double Imperial IPAs that I can think of, if that's what you want to call it. So, anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Reviews. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better